heads of state to make firm commitments to ratify the Maputo Protocol, a treaty that calls for an end to all forms of discrimination against women and girls. In an open letter to the presidents, the African Women's Development and Communication Network, FEMNET, and the Solidarity for Women's Rights Coalition urged heads of state to use the next six months to accede to important laws that will guarantee equal rights for women. Sarah Kimani reports on the hashtag follow the protocol campaign. Follow the protocol. Ellen Kezienwaha from Nigeria, follow the protocol. Eunice Musime, I urge all African governments to follow the protocol. Grab the farm ADP and Africa. Putting pressure on African governments to sign, ratify and implement the Maputo Protocol, a treaty instrument that seeks to protect the rights of African women and girls through the elimination of all forms of traditional harmful practices. Within the protocol specifically in Africa to address specific issues that are facing African women and girls that may not be really addressed uh, adequately. Thirteen years since the adoption of the treaty, only 49 out of 54 countries have signed the protocol. 37 out of the 49 have ratified and only two countries have fully complied with the reporting requirements of the protocol. We have countries that have not done much in terms of implementation, which is why really gender inequality is still a problem in Africa. So I call upon member states. Uh, that after ratification, the next step is implementation, and that's the only time that African women will enjoy the fruits of the protocol. In an open letter to African heads of state, a coalition of women civil society organizations want governments to commit and allocate resources to implement policies that will enhance justice and equality for women and girls. Our oversight role is supposed to provide opportunity to ensure that governments maintain commitments by going with them one day, they will be going at 100%. Now, is it that good economics? Is it that good politics? Is it that good law? The protocol provides for the elimination of all forms of discrimination against women through the formulation of necessary laws. Sarah Kimani, SBC News, Kigali, Rwanda.